let us look at now the total float and by understanding total float you directly can understand also the critical path over this whole project so what is total float this uh, total float we can formulate something like this total float is nothing but late start minus early start or it could be late finish minus yearly finish and whatever the result you will get that is total float and total float is nothing but the buffer or the extra number of days you have over this project if you delay is not going to uh, have any ripple effect over the end or finish date so let us start and finding your total float so this total float for this particular activity is 1 minus 1 is 0 or 5 minus 5 is 0 so this is 0 what about this so 6 minus 6 and let finish and yearly start you can deduct and maybe your late finish and yearly finish you can deduct here you can see this and here also it is 0 what about this activity so 8 minus 6 or 10 minus 8 both is going to give 2 here what is happening 12 minus 11 or 13 minus 12 both are giving 1 so this is basically your I'll just uh, keep it uh, like this so that you can know the total float and what about uh, this 9 minus 6 or 13 minus 10 all are resulting 3 this is the total float here 11 minus 11 or 12 minus 12 0 this is the total float 13 minus 13 or 13 minus 13 is giving a 0 float and here also 14 minus 14 is giving 0 float and you see your project wherever the zero float you have and if you see those particular path this is your critical path of your project and if you do any changes over this number of days if you will not finish by fifth let us say is finishing by seventh directly it will cause a ripple effect over this project and it will be not finished by 14th so when you will delay by two days so this activity also will be shifted instead of 10th it will be 10 plus 2 12 and this is not 12 12 plus 2 14 this is not 13 13 plus 2 15 this is not 14 14 plus 2 16 and if this particular activity is finished yearly maybe on fourth day so this whole project also will be having a ripple effect and it will be finished yearly but what about the other part where you have some total float this total float is nothing but the buffer it could even finish on day 12 yearly finish or it could also finish over the late dates it can you can start over 12 and finish it so even when you finish over 13 this activity is in fact started over 14 so it's not going to have any ripple effect just like that you have a buffer of one days just like here you could able to finish over 10th and because this is anyway starting on 14th so you'll be having a buffer you need to wait for three days or over the late if you'll start over the 9th and finish over 13 so next day is 14 so you are going to start it so anyway this total float gives you the buffer and that particular number of days could be used and in a big projects you need to focus more on the total float how how many more you can allot to your activities that is your primary intention because this critical path is very 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 dangerous and if you do any changes in your delay this particular activity this whole project is going to be having a ripple effect who all are connected and which all activities are connected to your critical path where you have total float of zero total float of zero means you do not have any choice you have to finish those work over these states anyway you do not have any difference related to your late start and late finish or early start and early finish and mostly you will be seeing the same thing so please understand this and try to experiment this over various project and understand your critical path and so that easily over the primavera you can use this and in primavera in most of the cases it will choose this yearly start and yearly finish dates and this late start and late finish dates are only available to find the total float and which also primavera does the calculations automatically and primavera is loaded by using this cpm 
algorithm and so you no need to worry about it but for using the advanced concept and advanced planning strategies you have to master this cpm scheduling so that you can have a rough understanding about the overall process and you can have a blueprint and without depending on any software you can have your uh, strong project blueprint and how is going to affect and the ripple effect is going to be uh, floated that you can have a clear cut 